Yo, bro, this Ken Carson tour is going to be straight up insane, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie to you, I still haven't got my tickets yet, but once I do, it's going to be out, bro. Like, I'm 100% go to the Vancouver show, I think July 29th, and bro, it's going to be nuts. But, yo, the tour is already sold out, bro. Like, apparently in one of the stops, it's sold out in three minutes, bro. Like... Man, Ken's Ken's really getting up there. You know what I mean? Like I said before, I think he's like around the same level as as Yeet. Like at least pretty close. Because you know, like Yeet kind of like cheated with his his first week sales. Added like three to four songs on to twenty ninety three. Sold seventy three k first week, but it was looking like it was gonna sell around sixty k. And Ken Carson's a great chaos. Sold about forty nine k. So let's just say fifty k. And Afterlife, each previous project sold about 54k, so they're, they're close to around the same level. And, you know, he's, at this point, he's pretty much a Cardi's, like, prodigy, I would say. Like, 100% Cardi's prodigy. But, yeah, let's just check this out. Like, <laughs> damn, selling this out in three minutes, man. I gotta, I gotta get my shit going. You know what I mean? I gotta, gotta get those tickets. So this one's in July 16th, the Van Buren, Van Buren in Phoenix, Arizona. And apparently there was three or 3,700 people waiting to get tickets for this show. So I guess down in the, the desert in Arizona, Ken Carson just has a strong following. I mean, at this point, I'd probably just go to a bigger venue. Like he could probably do like like a five 5,000 max, I guess, arena. Or small, like, hockey ring type shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is the tickets are sold out now. Check back soon. And if you look at this this little seat map and you... It looks like it's 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 only floor and maybe, like, a balcony, I would assume. Seating charts reflect the general layout of this venue time. For some events, the layout in specific seat locations may vary without notice. So I'm guessing this venue is probably a 4,000 cap if there's 37 hundred people waiting but bro that's that's like a huge w because i do remember it wasn't a great chaos tour is it wasn't antagonist i think it was the king bam tour after a whole lot of red when all of opium pretty much toured with cardi and i believe cardi was trying to do arenas but he wasn't quite able to so a lot of the a lot of the stands were kind of like covered up but it was mostly just like floor seats and stuff like that so this is gonna look pretty like I, I wouldn't be surprised if Ken Carson gets there pretty soon. Like within within two years I could see Cardi or Ken sell it at least eighty to hundred K. Like he's catching up to Cardi. Like I wouldn't be surprised if when it's all said and done, Ken sells more than, than Cardi at some point in his career. You know what I mean? Like that would be that'd be quite the story. You know what I mean? Because I think um Meek Mill was signed to Maybach music. I'm just trying to think of like another artist that like surpassed his his label me. Like I know obviously Lil Wayne had Young Money and Drake. Drake was the prodigy. You know Drake sold a lot. Or Drake didn't, didn't necessarily sell more than Lil Wayne, but Drake has been the, the biggest artist for like years, bro. So like that's like a good example. Another good example is uh, Rick Ross's Maybach music. I believe Meek Mill signed to Maybach music and he. You know, obviously, Big Mel sold, I think, 275K first week, and Rick Ross's peak was, I don't think, anywhere over 200. You know what I mean? So it wouldn't surprise me if Ken Carson is one of those artists that just ends up being able to surpass his, you know, his um, his label owner, Cardi. And then again, I think Cardi's next project, he's going to probably sell, like, a disgustingly amount. Like, I'm talking, like, bro... At least 200k if, if it's less than 200k that would be definitely disappointment or considered it now but then again cardi also lost a lot of fucking buzz bro like a lot of buzz so it says how many people does uh the van burden venue hold it only holds 1900 guests located less than a mile from the phoenix convention center van burden accommodates 25 to 1900 guests and they were saying this this there was 3,700 people waiting. Yeah, yeah. Ken's going to need to have a bigger venue or do back-to-back -back shows there. That's, that's just straight up a W for Ken Carson. Like that's, that's pretty much all I can say. Like Ken is really getting up there. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm, I'm really hoping the, the Vancouver show isn't sold out. 
I'm just waiting for my homie. I'm gonna get it on a get on a call with him tonight. I want to talk about you know just him getting some time off work to be able to see this this show. If not, I'm gonna I'm gonna go solo, bro. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go dolo. Get some vlogs going for that because yeah, this this shit's gonna sell out fast, and I may have to buy tickets off of someone someone else, whatever, but. I'm hundred percent gonna be going to this. I don't. I don't care, bro. Like I'm. A, I'm hundred percent be going to this. This show, for sure.